you're, you're going to get your data absconded by somebody that's going to do bad things with it. In this case, charge you a ransom, uh, which if you do not pay, they're threatening to expose it. So we'll see what's going on at the time of recording. This is still, this is still unfolding. So these integrations, which are often relied upon for, to maximize the value of Salesforce.com deployments, have underscored how complex software as a service ecosystems can create hidden cracks that attackers are eager to exploit. So what occurs is this kind of the same thing that it's uh, we have as a problem with all of the cloud providers. If they're leveraging third-party integration partners, someone who's adding value, uh, you know, doing AI lookups or whatever, and certainly Salesforce.com, there are lots of third-party partners that do lots of things that make the product salesforce.com work better. And they're allowed to do that. But in many cases, if they do not provide secure systems for making these things happen, they provide an attack vector, which other hackers are able to exploit. In other words, they can leverage it as a way to get to the data, even if they don't go through the salesforce.com infrastructure. So uh, you kind of, you have to take this as a grain of salt then. So in other words, uh, you know, salesforce.com infrastructure wasn't what was exposed and hacked. It was a third party partners uh, infrastructure, but still, you know, salesforce.com is responsible for ensuring that their third party partners don't open up security vulnerabilities. And I have a feeling they're going to be uh, a little bit more careful as time goes on. 